Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fast Electronic. And I'll bring to you Fast Electronic. And of course, I want to bring you something special today. A lot of you guys probably have a wireless network in your home right now. Some of you guys may not get the best signal in all parts of your home. Uh, a few weeks ago, it might have been a month or so ago, I did a review, first look, first impressions of the Linksys AC1200 Max Wi-Fi range extender. The great thing about that was it provided coverage up to 10,000 square feet, eliminates dead spots, and overall just increase your Wi-Fi range. Available on the 2.4 and 5 gig band, and it is AC, so it does support the latest 802.11 wireless AC. Like I said, gives you 10,000 square foot of coverage. The great thing is it'll work with any Wi-Fi router or gateway, so I decided that I would bring you guys kind of a how to extend your network. For example, you know, whether you're using an Apple product or an existing Cisco product, I run an Apple Airport Extreme 2013. So I'm gonna actually show you the real quick, easy setup to extend your wireless network in your home. And the great thing about the particular AC1200 from Linksys, it's actually got four ports on the back. So once you've connected this to your wireless network, you then have four ethernet ports available for different devices, depending on how your setup is. So first thing we can actually do here, we can go ahead and get these antennas put on the back here. These will be the antennas that you can point and focus where you need to, to the direction of your router. For example, I'm upstairs and my wireless router currently is downstairs. So for just for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and set that up just kind of in a formation like that. Just gives a nice coverage there. So we have that set up like that. Next thing we're going to want to do is take our nice power cable. Now I'm going to go ahead and cheat because I've got a uh, little power supply right down there on the floor. But I did that on purpose because that was the t purpose for this tutorial. I want to be able to make it clean and simple. So we're going to go ahead. We've got the antenna connected here. Those are antennas that are connected. And then we're going to just go ahead and plug in the power cable. So we can just go ahead and plug in the power cable to the power port here on the right side. It's only going to go in one place there. So we've got the power plugged in there. Let this unit fire up here. Dun, 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 dun. And you can see the white light there is flashing on. And that's just doing its uh, basic boot up process right now. So we'll give that a minute just to get booted up there. The good thing is, for example, a lot of these will come with directions. If you check the unboxing, I'll link that down below. It came with a really nice uh, quick start guide. So let's see if we can actually show you guys that there. A little bit of the quick set. We got a, it's kind of exactly what we're doing now. So we'll leave that down here for our reference. So that's actually going to get connected there. Okay, and we got this going here. So the reason I like said we got the uh, I got my Mac over here. And the reason I got my Mac over here is I'm going to use that then to complete the rest of the setup. So you can see we've got the uh, solid white light there. So that means that the unit has fired up completely, which is perfect. So like I said, depending on which device you're going to use to extend your network, follow the instructions. But the overall concept of this tutorial of extending your wireless network at home will apply. So we can actually, there's two ways we can do that. We can actually go up and we can search to see if that has shown up as an available thing. The default, it's actually supposed to show up as Linksys extender setup. So we can see that it has. If it has not, there is a web IP address that you can navigate to, and that is on the quick startup guide. So we'll go ahead and just follow the instructions. We'll click that Linksys extender setup, and that is available there. So my Wi-Fi network basically was terminated. So now the MacBook Pro that I'm sitting here is actually making connection right now with this Linksys AC1200 Max. So if we click up here, we can now see the Linksys extender setup is complete. We are there. We are now connected to that. So basically, we've got the solid light on there. We've connected to the Wi-Fi extended network. So if you're like on Windows 7 and Windows 8, it'll ask you, do you want to set up your network? You would then just click network. So for example, I'm on a Mac, so the setup's not going to come to, it's not going to automatically open up. So I'm just going to actually navigate to this web address, 192.168.1.1. That's the default address for this dual band wireless range extender. So depending on your language there, we've got English. We'll go ahead and select start. And we'll go ahead and select I agree to their license agreement. Now it says I don't see my network or my signal strength is low. Now my particular network in my home, I have that already set up as hidden. So keep that in mind. If you guys now run a hidden wireless network in your home, it may or may not show up. It should not show up if you're actually running a true wireless network. As you can tell by my where I live, there are quite a few wireless networks out there. So Naturally, that could happen with you, and you can see the option down there for use a hidden network. So I'm actually going to go to my hidden network name, 
and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. So your network name and your password will be your password. Obviously, this part of the video you're still seeing, but you're seeing the blacked out part of the screen. That's only because it's pertinent password information, but no worries there. So it's actually now checking network credentials. So as it checks network credentials, it's just verifying that that was the network, the SSID name, as well as the correct password to join the network. So basically what we are doing now is we are telling this little box to connect to our existing wireless network with the password provided. It would be similar as if you're connecting, you know, your iPad or your tablet or your iPhone or if a friend came over and he's like, hey, how do I get connected to your network? It'd be the same thing. That's exactly what we're doing with this box. The only reason we brought a computer, PC, Mac, whatever you're using for the setup into the mix is so we could then navigate to this extender setup. So while it's finishing up there checking the network credentials, you guys can check the link below for the unboxing for that Linksys AC1200 Max. I highly recommend it. Reason is it works with any existing Wi-Fi router or gateway. It will work with Apple products. That was the most important thing. And there are not a lot of 802.11 AC extenders yet. And because I'm running an 802.11 AC network in my home, I felt it was important to go ahead and extend that coverage. I do run a bridge upstairs currently that's only on the N network and does provide four Ethernet ports similar to this bridge does now. However, that was only limited to the 802.11 N speed. Now, I was actually after the coverage and the higher speed of the 802.11 AC, so that's why I vouch for the Linksys RE6500, aka the AC1200 Max. So, should have our device here connected there. Now, one thing you can do to... Uh, take your process like we said it's got the supplied ethernet cable and there were the four ethernet ports on the back so let's go ahead and plug one of those in now if you're on a pc or a you know a tablet or, or pardon me a pc or a laptop you could obviously just plug your ethernet in i use a macbook pro retina display so i don't have that luxury of just an ethernet port so i have to cheat so i'm going to use a uh, ethernet a thunderbolt adapter and that'll allow me to just plug in here so Pardon my big head there if you saw it, I know. So I've got my ethernet there connected and I've got the Linksys there on. So basically what I've done is I've just taken the ethernet and plugged it in, so. Like I said, we got the uh, ethernet plugged in here and the reason is, you know, we got simple ethernet and then using the Thunderbolt to HDMI adapter. The reason I did that is that would then be provided, you know, a wired connection. So if you've got multiple devices upstairs in your home that you're extending, this would, you know, be one of those. And that's why I wanted to show you guys that. So now that we've connected there to the network, we could just say choose our 5 gig network and we'll still continue with that hidden network again. So it's actually going to allow you to choose two different networks. So I'm actually just continuing to choose my same network that I have at home. And make sure you guys do enter the correct password there. So we'll go ahead and get connected there. Now it's going to go ahead and check those network credentials one more time on that 5 gig band because like we said, this particular model, which is really an impressive model in itself, uh, does run on the 2.4 and 5 gig, so it's a dual band. So we'll finish getting this connected there, but this right here in a nutshell is a great example, great product of how to extend your wireless network, especially if you're running a new 802.11 AC wireless network. It's going to provide coverage up to 10,000 feet, plus give you that flexibility of being able to then plug in four Ethernet-enabled devices. So you can now see there our extender is now configured. It'll then represent your network name and network password. Obviously, that stuff's going to be blocked out for you guys, and you could then print your extended network info if you chose. So we can go ahead and click Close. So now that has then become connected. We are all set up there. And we can actually then go out and we can open the internet. We can come back here. We'll open a new window here real quick. So we can just come back to the internet. We can go up to our network preferences. And we can just double check to make sure we're unplugged here. We'll just turn that off. That's where our Thunderbolt was connected, and that would be like if you're Ethernet. So the reason is, is I left that cable still plugged in while it was basically getting connected. So if you have that, just unplug it there, plug it back in, you'll be good to go. But nonetheless, those are instructions pertinent to the particular device. This was kind of just an overall how to extend your network using, you know, a current device that's out there, running through the setup, the connections, what have you. So you can see now I'm actually connected there. I have my local IP address for my network, and now you can see we have actually extended our network and we're no longer on Wi-Fi. If you look at the top, 
we're no longer on Wi-Fi. So, yeah, that right there will give you guys a quick, brief way how to some basically extend your network using the Linksys RE6500. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video there. If I could, give me a thumbs up on the coverage there. That's how to extend your wireless network. It's going to be a little different depending on the device you get, but the overall tutorial will apply the same. You can now extend your wireless network. So we extended the 802.11 AC wireless network from our Apple Airport Extreme 2013. So I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Fast Electronic and Loud, because I bring it to you fast electronic and, of course, loud things like this. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.